So I got sent this, the MT Vicky. It is a portable monitor, pretty massive size, 15.6 inch screens, and it should work on Mac or iOS or on PC. I do have my MacBook right here. We're gonna test it on. This is the newest MacBook, so if it works on mine. It should work on yours. Let's open this up. So you do get a bunch of instructions and one thing that's really cool is they have something called a triangle mode which we're going to try out which i guess gives one of your screens to multiple people that are sitting around a table pretty cool little feature uh, and then yeah a little instruction book looks like a nice high quality carrying case if you need to take this on the go i don't know if this would also fit your laptop i don't think so i think this would mostly just be for the screens and inside that looks like our main laptop cord cord block thumb drive of some sort we'll take a look at that that's everything so this is a usb c to usb a hookup and this is another cord which looks like a usb a to usb c dual hookup so you can see one side has usb c usb a which you can connect into it. So that's probably to hook up your main laptop. This is interesting. I'm actually not sure what this is for. Let's see what we got here. Talk about well-built design. So it just kind of folds open. Okay, look at that. And that is where your laptop goes into right there. I don't know how yet though. And it also has a back stand, which I am gonna show you. Um, but it looks like your laptop just kind of sits around it. So this doesn't actually mount onto it. I think this is more just a resting uh, style device. Peel off screen one. Peel off screen two. We're gonna plug in our USB drive here. And it looks like there's a Mac OS folder. Okay, so we got something installed here. It's called Mac's, Mac OS Instant View. Now this actually has two ports on it. You can see there's a data transfer port and a power port. So we need to hook both up. So first I'm gonna take this cable here. And this should be for our data transfer. So I'm gonna plug in the one on the back here, and then I'll run the cord through, and we're gonna plug it into the side of my MacBook over here. Just like this. And you can see we already got something going on there. Is that all we need? Okay. So we got our screens, it's looking like they're on. Okay, so you can see here, you can select either extended display or mirror display, depending on what you wanna do. And they are definitely working. So you can see my mouse moving. So let's get Safari pulled up here. I'm trying to figure out the screen movement a little bit. And so we can move the one screen over here. You can see we got that connected there. And now let's open up another program. Let's say, there we go, something like CapCut. And now let's see if we can move CapCut over. So we definitely have all three screens working. Now this is super high quality looking displays. You can see very clear, very vivid, and we should be able to go into our settings and easily swap these out and kind of change the screen orientation to make sure they're going the, the right way. So let me see if I can figure that out. 
So there's actually a bunch of settings we can fully customize and it looks like that's where we can actually change the screen position when we play around with the settings options. One thing I did really want to check out is what they call triangle mode. So I'm going to pull this over. I'm going to pull this side back like this. And this is actually really cool. So what we can see here is they're actually giving you a display on each side. So if you have multiple people wanting to work on the same computer, or if you want to be able to customize what you're doing on it, maybe something somebody's watching something, you, you know, you have your kids here. Well, they can each watch something on one screen, or they can also do some work or watch YouTube along those lines. So this is a really cool feature as well. Now at the back here, you also have this handy stand. So if this is putting pressure and needs to lay, lean back at all, you'll be able to support it directly with that. So overall, this is a really cool uh, laptop extended screen. Definitely has a bunch of interesting features that you don't see out of a bunch of them. So I would definitely check this out.